change is coming, and with more than 50 years of professional experience, Rex Klein is here to help. Rex Klein can help me? I can, Nancy. Then I will. Nancy, in 2014, you'll be required to have health insurance or pay a fine. Nancy, it's going to be very important that you know all of your options. What are my options? In the marketplace, you'll be able to choose one of four metal plans. Plans are tailored to meet your individual needs. So pretty. Turn to us for all of your health insurance needs. You know, he's well prepared. Um, he did everything exactly he was supposed to be doing. Um, his weight cut was perfect. Um, his diet was untuned. Um, he's ready to go. Uh, he's made here for a reason. Um, and tonight he's going to show it. He comes from an extremely high level, you know, wrestling background. He's, you know, he's been at the top in wrestling before. Um, his preparation is the same every time. Um, every every fight, his next fight is the next biggest fight of his life. Um, and we don't we don't train any differently. With Antonio, we don't want to have him to be able to pressure us. Uh, we want to maintain a constant, consistent, controlled pressure against him. Eighteen years and 27 fights separated Luis Gonzalez from his lightweight opponent Antonio McKee. But on August 10th, at World Series of Fighting 4 in Ontario, California, age and experience didn't matter. Gonzalez entered his first fight on the national stage with a perfect 8-0 record as he looked to kick off a six-fight partnership with WSOF with a bank. The veteran McKee entered the cage intent on bouncing back from only his fifth career loss and adding another win to the twilight of his career with a defeat over the up-and-coming Gonzalez. Oh, he's a tough guy, he's another state champ wrestler, so there's going to be some grappling involved. And, you know, we just got to, I, I felt like I was controlling him at the beginning of the first round, but then, you know, he, he had some pretty slick stuff and, you know, he had, he had good strength and caught me, dropped me to my butt, and then he won. I think that was, that's the first round I've ever lost. After several failed takedown attempts, McKee reversed a Gonzalez guillotine and mounted the Turlocker in the early stages of the first round. Finding himself in trouble, Gonzalez defended against a consistent rear naked choke submission attempt for the majority of the round. I mean, he had it close a couple times. Uh, I just knew just to keep my chin down and and uh, yeah, I know there's a couple times he had it in deep and I was like, you know, just thinking, of, you know, while I can, you know, start grab fighting hands, you know, and then, uh, you know, I just kept finding enough space to, you know, keep my breath and break off the lock. So, but yeah, there was a couple times he had it pretty close. Gonzalez broke free of McKee's grip in the final 20 seconds of round one, sending him to his corner to regroup. It was different going into the second round, losing, you know, knowing in my head that I needed to change things and get the fight going in my direction. In the second round, Gonzalez took control of his opponent and helped push the fight in his direction with a barbo choke. Tried for the choke, uh, couldn't get it, so just did as much damage as I could. With two rounds in the books, Gonzalez and McKee found themselves even on the scorecards. Gonzalez again took control of his opponent in the third round, but an illegal elbow strike to the back of McKee's head led to a premature stop to the action. You know, was, everything's going fast and accidentally, you know, elbow hit him in the back of the head and the ref warned me the round before, so then they stopped it. After confusion and concern over a potential disqualification, Gonzalez was relieved to find out the fight would be determined by the judges' scorecards. In a unanimous decision, Gonzalez won 29 to 28. I didn't want to finish it like that. I wanted to go to the third period, but I, don't know, I got the W. And I that's what, that's what counts. Gonzalez is now 9-0 after the biggest win of his career. Shortly after the fight, McKee announced his retirement from mixed martial arts. As for Gonzalez's immediate future, it is unclear who his next opponent will be. Adrenaline was pumping more than before just because of, because of the stage, you know. And, uh, and then just to you know beat a guy like Antonio who's been around, the guy's fought in you know, UFC, um, you know, Dream. He's fought everywhere. Had the belt and a couple big leagues. You know, like everyone knows who Antonio is. So that's a that's a big uh, big win on my resume. Now. I'm sure my manager will call me in the next couple weeks or so with probably another fight. You know, this is a, I have a six fight contract with them. So um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the phone call to tell me who I have next.